am uh, very privileged to be here with Dan Lilly, a man who has an, um, has had, has had ministries that merge in each other, he calls them hobbies, not ministries, and and he's he's just uh, faithful in that, and I believe we believe, and certainly we've seen that he's made um, a serious impact. So Dan, it's good to be with you. And first, you. we can start off maybe just give us a little bit of your background, and then we'll talk about the uh, the computer hobby and now now the soccer ball slash computer hobby. Yeah, I was born at a very young age. Yeah, <laughs> very, very close to my mother. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I'm one of 11. So, uh, 13 with my, my parents. So then, uh, got five brothers and five sisters. Um, grew up in the Chicagoland area. So you probably figure out what kind of a church I went to, uh -huh. um, growing up. Yeah. And, uh, um, yeah. Uh, parochial school mm -hmm. all the way through high school. But uh, never really answered any spiritual questions for me. Mm -hmm. and could I know that I could have eternal life? That was one of the things they left out, among other things. And so those were things that always uh, perplexed me. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, I always felt that the church's opinion was, don't worry about things. We'll take care of it for you if you need help somewhere else somewhere along the way right, uh, right obviously right. that doesn't work <laughs> and so uh, after um, meeting somebody on my dorm floor and his challenge of where would i spend eternity and having no clue i uh, uh, investigated some things and uh, um, i met a guy who was a friend of the guy on my dorm floor who uh, challenged me to uh, uh, just check out some of the things that Jesus had said. John 5, 24, truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me has eternal life, has passed out of death into life. And 1 John 5, 11, 12, and 13, and the witness is this, that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in a son. He who has a son has life. He who does not have the son of God does not have life. Right. These things I've written to you that you may know that you have eternal life. Hey, that's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted to know. So it was easy. It was uh, easy to uh, come to know Christ and uh, yeah, start living my life for him, which mm. was about 50 years ago. Mm. So since that time, I've uh, had the opportunities to uh, take God as his word and to trust him along the way. And uh, with a wife and four kids and, you know, moving them in a direction. It wasn't mm -hmm. always the easiest thing, but it was something that, you know, has definitely uh, worked out well. So well, you and I got, you know, just we we share quite a bit in the same path to the Lord as I spent the first 12 years of my life in parochial school and went to I grew up in Cleveland. So you know what kind of church I went to. Yeah. Anyway, and then um, 1985, I, I came to know the Lord and uh, have not certainly turned back in much of much in the similar way that, that you did, only was through my brother and a relative.